Hey guys, I'm back. So lately I've been thinking a lot about time travel and implications and consequences of it. More specifically, I've been thinking about the consequences of paradoxes and what happens when you go back and change time. Now, paradoxes are a complex thing and they're dealt with in different ways in the science fiction genre. But for anyone who doesn't know, a paradox is basically when something happens that shouldn't happen and it cancels itself. If I had to go back and kill, say, my grandfather before I met my grandmother, which would stop me from ever existing, which means I didn't go back and stop him, which means I did exist, which means I did go back. See, it's a paradox, it's complicated. So let's look at a few different paradoxes in the genre and, you know, discuss them. Let's go. Now, the first paradox is the Back to the Future paradox. I'm sure everyone knows which one I'm on about. In the first Back to the Future film, Martin McFly goes back and stops his father from meeting his mother at the right moment. Consequently, they don't start dating and slowly he begins to just fade out from existence. He does however and then manage to fix it by getting his mother and father to kiss at the school dance and setting things back in motion so that him and his family are indeed born and he ends up fixing it entirely. So yeah, he manages to fix it in the end. Another type of paradox is the Pompeii paradox. I call it this because of the example I'm going to use. It's where whatever you do to try and change time consequently leads to that event happening in the first place. My example for this is of course Doctor Who in the series 4 episode the Fires of Pompeii where the Doctor and Donna land in Pompeii and although the Donna tries to get the Doctor to change history and save everyone, he refuses. In the end, after fighting the Pyroveil, it's revealed that the Doctor has to stop the Pyroveil by detonating Mount Vesuvius. Consequently, by going back in time and interfering in history, he causes that piece of history to indeed happen. So that is the Pompeii effect. Another type of paradox is the one where time fights back. Now I don't mean it in a physical bodied fist fight type of way, but as in it makes nature and the universe around you seem like it's trying to stop you. My, my example for this is of course Doctor Who, the episode Warts of Mars, where the Doctor tries to change history by saving Captain Adelaide Brook and that would affect the time stream massively because her death is supposed to influence her granddaughter to go out into the star and start a new species and Earth's relations with aliens. So by saving her, the Doctor would change all of history. And of course in the episode, everything that he needs to try and save her starts getting screwed up. His spacesuit is destroyed, things start exploding, and the Doctor himself even states that they are fighting time itself. So that's the paradox where time fights back. The final paradox is of course the big one, the one where everyone knows that everyone in the science fiction genre where it involves time travel is always told don't mess with history or this will happen. I am of course talking about the end of the universe paradox, where the paradox causes the universe itself just to blink out of existence and be destroyed forever. The paradox is just so big and so damaging that that's the only way it can be fixed and that's what happens. Of course that normally doesn't work in fiction for the simple reason that it would end the narrative right there and then but it's the one that everyone always theorises is, is what would happen. So yeah, that's the end all paradox. The paradox to end everything. So there we have it, quite a few different paradoxes there, you know just different things from the science fiction genre and narrative, you know just different types of paradoxes that I think are quite complex and interesting. I know if I ever travel back in time, I know which paradox I'd want. Pompey paradox. Unless then it's simple and you don't destroy the universe or kill yourself. Wait, don't drink it. But, but, but you're me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, I'm new from the future. Wow. Time travel, that is. Yeah, that is. How far in the future are you from? Nine months in the future, actually. Nine months. And you look exactly the same. You've even got the same clothes as me. It's a classic, and it suits us. So what are you doing here then? Well, I'm here to start drinking that tea because it causes the future from which I come from. And what's so bad about the future you're from? No, I thought chemicals in it that will lead to you being hospitalised and love and then heartbreak, which you really don't want. So you decided to just, you know, show up and change the future and possibly cause a paradox. Well, I'm sorry mate, but... I'm drinking the tea, I'm not going to risk destroying the universe for a paradox. I'll take the heartbreak, thank you very much. I tried. Oh. 
Oh, that tastes weird.